Jesse. Um, I'm ringing you up on the phone. All right. So we're doing a phone session because our Skype doesn't work or we don't have Wi-Fi. Okay. All right. So I don't um, know how to use it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. So we're on the phone, and um, so imagine that we've got earphones in and we're speaking, so our hands are free. So um, so I ring you up and say, hi, Casey. So you're ready to do your session? Yes. Great. And you've got some water with you? Yes. And some tissues just in case? Yes. Good. Um, and did you get the picture of the um, tapping points that I sent you by email? Yes. Great. I just want to run through those points. And, and at the moment, I'm tapping on my karate chop point. And I want you to tap on the karate chop point too. So that's that fleshy part of your hand underneath the little finger, the side of your hand, that you would use to go karate chop on something. Mm -hmm. So usually you use your dominant hand to do the tapping. And, and I tend to use all four fingers there. So you've got that? Yeah. The next point we tap on is called top of the head. And basically it's the crown of the head. Mm -hmm. So right on the crown, um, more towards the back and the front, mm -hmm. as if you're a puppet on a string. The next point is the start of the hairs of the eyebrow. So pick one eyebrow and tap on the hairs of the eyebrow just above the nose. The next point is the side of the eye, so it's the bone at the corner of the eye. Sometimes I might say side of eye or corner of the eye. Yep. So it's that bone at the corner of your eye. So don't tap so much that it's making you blink, but not back on the temple either. It's right on that bone in the corner there. Next point's under the eye, it's the bone under the pupil. Have you got that? Yeah. And the next one's the fleshy part under the nose. Yeah. Got that? Yeah. The next one is the chin point, but it's not really on the chin, it's the crease of the chin just under the lip. Yeah. You've got that? And the next one's the collarbone. So if you run your fingers across the collarbone until you get to the nobbles under your neck, under your throat, those two nobbles, if you come down slightly diagonally outwards just an inch, mm -hmm. there's two little hollows. Have you got those two hollow, hollows with both hands? Yeah. All right, so I tend to use the um, dominant hand and use your finger and thumb, middle finger and thumb, to get both those points together. Yeah, got it. Got it, good. Now, under the arm, and you can go across your body or to the side of your body, under the arm about four inches into the rib cage. So it's usually about where um, your bra strap is. Yep. Great. So they're the main points that we're going to use. So if you go back to the karate chop point. Now, if at any time I may have forgotten to say a point, please say to me, where are we now? Like, if, you've, if, if you get lost because I've forgotten to say a point, say, what, what point are we up to? Okay. Now, it's really important for you to tell me what's going on for you over there because I can't see what's happening. So I'm going to ask um, quite frequently what's happening for you and I want you to really tune into your body and tell me what, what's happening. Mm -hmm. And if something comes up and I haven't asked you, please tell me, interrupt me and say, this has just happened. Because okay. it's all about you tuning into what's going on over there. Okay, okay. so um, while we're tapping on the karate chop point, just tell me what it is that you want to work on and what are you feeling in your body. I'm feeling a tightness in my stomach at the moment. Okay. A tight ball, a bit like I'm in labour and it's a contraction. Okay. And how long have you been feeling that? Um, it came up yesterday when I was doing some tapping. Mm -hmm. And it cleared but kept coming back. Okay. Um, and it went away and it's only just come again this morning. Okay. So it's a tight ball in your stomach that's like you're in labour. Does yep. it have a colour? Um, keep thinking blue, which yesterday I thought it was red and the blue cleared it. But mm -hmm. it's so now it feels blue. And what size is that ball? Is it like a tennis ball, a beach ball? How big is it? It actually feels like a baby. Okay. And what sort of emotions that bring in? Um, just unsure. Okay. So, so tap and um, 
follow what I say, but if what I say doesn't land with you and you want to change the words, then change the words, okay? Even though I've got this tight ball, this tight blue ball in my stomach. Even though I've got this tight blue ball in my stomach. And it feels like a baby. It feels like a baby. And I'm unsure and I'm of unsure. what my emotions are. And what my emotions are. I accept myself and this feeling. I accept myself and this feeling. Even though I've got this tight blue ball in my stomach. And it's in my pelvis as well. Even though I've got this tight blue ball in my stomach and pelvis. Even though I've got this tight blue ball in my stomach and pelvis. And it feels like a baby. And I'm not even sure if it's blue anymore. I, mm -hmm. I don't know if it has a colour. Okay. okay. And it feels like a baby. It is a baby. And it is a baby. And I'm unsure. And I'm unsure. Emotionally. Emotionally. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all these emotions. And all these emotions. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. What's the emotions coming up? Um, sadness. So I could hear something. I can't see her, but I could hear something. And my legs are tensing up as well. Like my whole body's tightening. Okay. And is there a memory that's coming up with it? Not at the moment. Okay. So even though I've got this tightness in my legs, even though I've got this tightness in my legs, and this ball feeling in my stomach and my pelvis, and this ball feeling in my stomach and my pelvis, this tension in my body, this tension in my body, and I'm not sure what the emotions are, and I'm not sure what the emotions are, but there is sadness, there is sadness, I accept myself, I accept myself, and all these feelings, and all these feelings, On top of the head, this sadness, this sadness, Eyebrow, this sadness. Corner of the eye. Tension in my whole body. Under the eye. This feeling of a baby in my pelvis and my stomach. This feeling of a baby in my pelvis and my stomach. Under the nose, this sadness. Sadness. Chin. All this sadness and tension in my body. All this sadness and tension in my body. Collarbone. This shaking and tension in my legs. Shaking and tension in my legs. It's more in my legs now. And that's stronger. Yeah. Around my thighs. Okay. Under the arm. All this shaking and tension that's so strong in my legs and thighs. All this shaking and tension that's so strong in my legs and thighs. Top of the head. I'm not sure where it comes from. I'm not sure where it comes from. Eyebrow, but I'm thanking my body for telling me about it. Of the eye, so I can process and release it. So I can process and release it. Under the eye, all the way back to its origin. All the way back to its origin. Under the nose, all the way back to its origin. All the way back to its origin. Chin point in this life and every life. In this life and every life. Collarbone. In this life and every life. In this life. Does that resonate with you? Does. I, nothing's coming up. But, mm -hmm. Okay, under the arm. All this shaking and tension in my legs. All this shaking and tension in my legs. Top of the head. This feeling of a baby in my pelvis. This feeling of a baby in my pelvis. And my stomach. And my stomach. Eyebrow. All this sadness. All this sadness. Corner of the eye. All this sadness. All this sadness. Under I'm the, just feeling unsure. I don't really under the eye. Understand. I feel so unsure, I just don't understand. I feel so unsure, I just don't understand. Under the nose, I don't have a memory. I don't have a memory. Not in this life. Not in this life. Chin point. All this unsureness. All this unsureness. Collarbone. What's the emotion coming up? I don't know what the emotion is. I don't know what the emotion is. All the sadness. All the sadness. Under the arm. Processing and releasing the emotion, even though I don't know what it is. Processing and releasing the emotion, even though I don't know what it is. Top of the head. Processing and releasing the shaking and tension in my legs, even though I don't know what, where it comes from. Processing and releasing the shaking and tension in my legs, even though I don't know where it comes from. Eyebrow. Even though where I don't have... But it's releasing. Good. Releasing the tension. Releasing the tension. Corner of the eye. I don't know where it comes from, but I'm releasing it anyhow. I don't 
know where it comes from, but I'm really excited. Under the eye, all the way back to its origin. All the way back to its origin. Under the nose, releasing the tension in my legs. Releasing the tension in my legs, but it's back in my stomach. Uh-huh. Chin point, thanks for telling me, releasing the tension in my stomach. Releasing the tension in my stomach. Collarbone, releasing all the emotion in my stomach. All the way back to its origin. Wherever it's come from. Wherever my body and my DNA remembers it from. Wherever my body and my DNA remembers it from. Releasing the sadness. Releasing the sadness. Under the arm, releasing the confusion. Releasing the confusion. Releasing the tension. Releasing the tension. So take a deep breath and have some water. So normally I'd break a bit more, but there was still stuff coming up. So, tell me what's going on for you there right now. I still feel at the top of my thighs. Mm -hmm. What's the feeling? The shakiness. Shakiness in the top of your thighs. What else? Tap on the crown of chop point while you tune in. Okay. It does, the memory reminds me of um, giving, after giving labour, like feeling. Yep. You know, I don't know whether I've given labour or if I'm in the process of being in labour. Okay, so you, have you had a child in this life? Yep, I've had two. Right, and what's the emotion coming up? Keep tapping. Sadness. Alright, keep tapping. Where's the sadness coming from? In a particular memory or where in your body. Keep tapping on the karate chop point. It's related to my son. Right. And how old is your son? He's eight. And where does it come from when it's related to your son? There's just sadness around me. After labour? After mm. giving birth? No, just... I think because he has... Um, a diagnosis of Asperger's and it's, it's been quite, quite a full on challenging time since I've given birth. Okay, so what was his, what was it like after his birth? If you um, imagine yourself just having given birth. I felt I had to really protect him. Mm -hmm. I couldn't let him out of my sight. Okay, keep tapping. Tapping, even though I couldn't let him out of my sight. Even though I couldn't let him out of my sight. I had to protect him. I had to protect him. I accept myself deeply and completely. I accept myself deeply and completely. Even though I couldn't let him out of my sight. Even though I couldn't let him out of my sight. I had to protect him. I had to protect him. And I've got this remaining energy in the top of my thighs. <laughs> This remaining energy, it's actually in my stomach. In my stomach. In my stomach. I accept myself. I accept myself. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Top of the head. I couldn't let him out of my sight. I couldn't let him out of my sight. Eyebrows. It's been really tough since I had him. It's been really tough since I had him. And the thought too that I can't, something's going to happen to him if I, if I don't protect him. Always had that feeling. Under the eye. Something's gonna happen to him if I don't protect him. Something's gonna happen to him if I don't protect him. Under the nose. Something's gonna happen to him if I don't protect him. Something's gonna happen to him if I don't protect him. Chin point, keep tapping. Something's gonna happen. I've always had that feeling. Collarbone. Collarbone. I want to release this feeling all the way back to its origin. All the way back to the way back to I'm gonna do quantum all the way back to when I did lose him in another lifetime. Does that land with you? Tapping it and releasing that. I lost him in another lifetime. Hollow releasing and letting go. 
all the way back to its origin. That's good. Keep tapping. Thank you, my dear Jane, for holding on to it. Holding on to all the sadness. All right, it's time to release it and let it go. Keep tapping. All the way back to its origin. All the way back to its origin. In the lifetime when I did lose him. Releasing it and letting it go. All the way back to its origin. Instructing my DNA to let it go. All the way back to its origin. Releasing and letting it go. Still on the collarbone. Instructing my DNA to release it all the way back to its origin. Instructing my DNA to release it all the way back to its origin. I've got his soul again. And I can release the fear that I'm going to lose him. Keep tapping. Collarbone. Releasing and letting go. All the sadness in my stomach. All the way back to its origin. <laughs> Under the arm. Releasing it and letting it go all the way back to its origin. <laughs> okay, back to the collarbone. Take a deep breath. Karate chop. Karate chop. Did I say collar? Thank you. Okay, so take a deep breath. for you now. It's heavy heart. What? It's still heaviness and emotional. Uh -huh. In your heart? Right. Yeah, grief. Grief. Loss. Loss. Yep. And that's not from this life, is it? <laughs> no. You don't know? No, it's not. Yeah. Okay. Tapping on the crown of chocolate. Point. <laughs> Even though I've got this remaining sadness, this Grief and loss. Grief and loss. That comes from another life. That comes from another life. I thank my DNA for reminding me of it. I thank my DNA for reminding me of it. So I can process and release it now. So I can process and release it now. Instructing the multidimensional layers of my DNA. Instructing the multidimensional layers of my DNA. To process and release it all the way back to its origin. To process and release it all the way back to its origin. I came here to release it this time. I came here to release it this time. And I choose to release it. And I choose to release it. Top of the head. I'm stepping through that pattern now. I'm stepping through that pattern now. Eyebrow, that soul level grief and loss. Soul level grief and loss. Corner of the eye. I didn't really lose him. He's back again now. I didn't really lose him. He's back again now. Under the eye. And I can release that fear of losing him again. <coughs> The eye. I do really want fear of losing him. And I want to release the fear of losing him again. I want to release the fear of losing him again. Under the nose, it's a soul level pattern. This is soul level pattern. Chin point, and I choose to release it and let it go. <laughs> and I choose to release it and let it go. Hold on. All the way back to the lifetime when I did lose him. All the way back to the lifetime when I did lose him. I never really lose him. I never really lose him. Souls never really die. Souls never really die. I've got him again now. Again. And I'll have him again in the future. I'll have him again in the future. And I choose to focus on the now. And I choose to focus on the now. And the love and the life I have with you. The love and the life I have with you. Under the arm, releasing the sadness, the grief and the loss. Releasing the sadness, the grief and the loss. All the way back to that life. Releasing it from my heart, my stomach, my legs. I choose to feel peace. I choose to feel love. And I send that love all the way back to its origin. Dissolving the sadness, loss, and grief. What color is that that you want to send back that love? Green. Green. So imagine sending the green. I usually would spray it and see it in the end. So 
Christmas. So I'm spraying green and I'm sending it to you. <laughs> Do you smell it? <laughs> Sending that beautiful green, my favourite colour. That balance and harmony. All the way back to the soul that was me. All the way back to the soul that was me. That felt that loss of grief. If you can look outside and see green somewhere, look outside and see the green. Yeah. And send that to your heart all the way back to its origin. Feeling the love and the peace. Top of the head. And then send that all the way forward to the future, to the present, to you, to your son, eyebrow. Feeling that beautiful green piece, corner of the eye, that love dissolving all the sadness, all the worry under the eye, all that need to protect. It's just something from the past that it's been dissolved. Under the nose, it's time to enjoy him. Chin point, releasing any remaining energy of sadness, loss and grief, fear of losing him again, need to protect him, out of the stomach, the heart, collarbone, send that beautiful green to my whole body, releasing it from the stomach, the heart, pelvis, legs, allowing love and peace to remain under the arm. How does that feel now? Good. All right. So I want you to um, call me if anything else comes up and to continue using that green colour and sending it back in time and into the future and into your body and um, just instructing the, your DNA to release any more remnants of that and that past life trauma. And... Um, Walk around with that beautiful green in you all day and send it to your son as well. Thank you. You're welcome. And we'll talk again next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.